Zion Williamson has lost over 30 pounds and is said to be in the best shape of his life headed into the 2025 NBA season. A shocking game-breaking development as it was not long ago that 24-year-old Zion, once seen as a generational prospect, was body shamed by the media for being over 300 pounds. Zion, folks, you can see he's put on some pounds, man. He's got to get that weight off. It looked like me and Shaq had a baby. What did it look like, Shaq? Like, like me and you had a baby. <laughs> he looks fat. You look like you showed up to the game having just ate a buffet. Not something from the buffet, like you ate the damn table. But with this new weight loss, we have to ask the question, have we forgotten? Have we forgotten that at one point in time, Zion Williamson was supposed to be up next. He was supposed to be the future of the NBA. He was supposed to be seen as a top of the line prospect. Perhaps even the young player who was supposed to take the torch from LeBron James himself and become the next face of the NBA. Instead, while the talent has clearly been there at times, we have seen some weight issues that have been downright scary. The stakes are massive here. If Zion is able to maintain this weight loss and stay healthy, the God-given talent is certainly there. The insane athleticism is waiting to be untapped as Zion just turned 24. He still has his whole prime ahead of him. In theory, a skinny Zion Williamson could vault himself into the MVP conversation. What's up, guys? Guys, Mike here and that might sound like a big statement I know the MVP conversation but 100% a skinny Zion Williamson not only has the potential to truly become an MVP candidate but also the Pelicans now have DeJounte Murray a skinny Zion Williamson could help shake up the NBA championship conversation one thing at a time though and so in terms of MVP potential where is the evidence you may be asking I believe it comes in two forms that play off of each other the potential Zion showed heading into the NBA and then his actual on-court production once he has gotten here. In his first two seasons in the league, Zion averaged a combined 25.7 points, 7 rebounds, and 3.2 assists per game. Historic production from a player at his age. As if we look throughout the rest of NBA history for players who have averaged at least 25 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists per game between the ages of 19 and 20, we find just one name, and that is, of course, Zion Williamson. If we use that same statistical criteria and take out age, and instead look at the first two seasons played in the league. We still find just four names, and those are Zion, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Oscar Robertson, and Elgin Baylor, making Zion the only name on this list drafted in the post-merger era. But guys, before we continue, I'm very excited to say that this video is sponsored by SeatGeek, where the NFL season is right around the corner, and I don't know about you, but I want to be watching the games live and in person. And that is why our friends at SeatGeek have you covered. Everyone, not just new users, everyone can use my code, Mike10, for 10 percent off of any ticket on SeatGeek. Sports, festivals, concerts, you name it, SeatGeek has you covered as SeatGeek also rates tickets on a scale of 1 to 10. Green being good, red being bad, so look for those green dots. And no matter how many times you have bought tickets before, again, using code Mike10 is going to get you 10 percent off of your order. So what are you waiting for? Open your SeatGeek app, use my code Mike10, and get 10 percent off of your order right now because this offer is only available for a limited time. That is code Mike10 for 10 percent off at SeatGeek. Thank you again to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back into today's video that is how dominant a young zion williamson was right out of the gate as a young nba star those numbers made him rookie of the year they made him a second year all-star they made him one of the faces of the nba and at the time it was very well deserved it appeared zion was headed for a career of true greatness only nobody could have expected what would happen next if we think about it zion williamson should have been one of the faces of team usa this season if things had continued on the trajectory they were on. Instead, Zion showed up for what should have been his year three training camp at a weight of 300 pounds. It was then reported that he suffered a Jones fracture in his foot with many pointing to his large weight as the probable cause for his injury. A dramatic fall from grace as this season was also mired in mystery as Zion went months without being able to be reached by the mainstream media as it was reported that he was 
remaining in Oregon. At this point in time, many thought Zion was going to force his way to the Knicks. That didn't happen. What did happen was a complicated return. In his third year played, fourth year in the league, Zion gave us 26 points per game, and again, he was named an all-star. But again, we had another injury. We had just 29 games played. This has been a huge talking point for many, and headed into the 2025 season, it is very easy to knock Zion. I get it. However, despite this, personally, I think there's one major reason why we should believe in Zion this year, why we should believe in Zion headed forward. He has already gotten paid. This is not a situation where it's a contract year and suddenly Zion is the first one in the building pretending to care about his legacy while really he's caring about securing a major bag. No, Zion will be paid $44.8 million in 2028. That's when his contract is up. Zion already has his family fortune in place, which means this type of weight loss really is meaningful. So are the 70 games Zion played in 2024. Zion did not take the money and run. He has not been some type of Ben Simmons no-show. He has instead been putting in the work and we can see it. We can also see that when Zion is on the court, the man cares about winning. It is here where I'm going to take us back to the 2023 season, where Zion is not only going to be named an all-star, but also on December 9th, 2022, Zion Williamson would take the court against the Phoenix Suns, ready to make a statement and he would do so. The Suns have had one of the best teams in the West for the last several years, and they were a huge target for a young Pelicans team ready to make their mark. And so after Zion scored 35 points on 13 of 17 shooting in a decisive win, Zion would cap things off with a 360 dunk to rub things in Phoenix's face. This would lead to both benches clearing due to the sheer disrespect, as at this point in time, Zion let it be known the Pelicans were not to be messed with. Would you believe that after this win, New Orleans was 17 and 8 and they were the top seed in the Western Conference? This was just two seasons ago, and during this stretch, Zion would average 24.5 points per game. We have to remember, he was coming off missing an entire season with injury, he was coming off being 300 pounds, and now, as the Pelicans superstar, he was leading them to the top seed in the Western Conference. It's here where things get even more impressive, as after warming up from missing so much time. In the next nine games Zion would play after this Phoenix Suns win, Zion would average 29.4 points, 6.4 rebounds, and 5.2 assists per game on over 60% shooting. MVP type numbers. He then would miss the entire season again with injuries. Just when Zion was finally putting up that top tier level of production we had hoped to see, his career was put on hold again. However, now that he is down 30 pounds from last season, we have to think, could this be the year when it all comes together. And when Zion was skinny and in shape as a young player, he was not only unstoppable, he was transcendent. A young LeBron James was the same way. As LeBron throughout his entire career has been known for one eye-popping trait, his ability to bull rush the basket. The best version of Zion gave us the same thing. In a one-on-one -on -one setting, it was bully ball. As Zion would shove defenders out of the way for easy baskets. And then if Zion had some steam headed towards the basket, it was look out, you're on a highlight. Then came the NBA lifestyle, then came the weight game, then came an entire missed year with injury. Because of this, the Pelicans have perhaps become the NBA's biggest wild card headed into the 2025 season. They're in a very complicated situation. Of course, if Zion does make a leap and becomes a top five player, that should lead to a seriously improved New Orleans squad. However, the question marks surrounding this roster are massive. In 2024, the Pels did win 49 games, which gave them the seventh seed in the West. And 49 games was also only eight games off from the top seed of Denver Nuggets. New Orleans also won seven more games in 2024 compared to 2023 and actually has increased their win total every single season since 2020. But despite this, question marks surround this roster because New Orleans wants Brandon Ingram gone. That was what was put out there this offseason and assuming New Orleans could get some type of fair return for Ingram, this type of move would be a game changer. Remember, at the age of 22, Brandon Ingram made the All-Star game and looked like one of the NBA's most promising young players. Since that All-Star 
season though, Ingram has failed to make the all-star team every season since and to make things even worse. In the 2024 playoffs, Brandon Ingram lived every player's worst nightmare as due to another injury. The Pelicans were without Zion and Ingram, thrust into a bigger role, completely failed to deliver, scoring just 14.3 points per game on 34.5% shooting in a four-game sweep against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Because Brandon Ingram's contract is up this season, New Orleans is going to be forced to make a move, giving us again a complete wild card situation. The Pels just added DeJounte Murray, who did not fit with Trey Young, but when DeJounte Murray was the lead guard with the San Antonio Spurs, he was incredibly effective, averaging 21.1 points, 9.2 assists, and two steals a game as an all-star in his final year in San Antonio. So in theory, if everything goes right for the Pelicans, if DeJounte is able to return to that all-star level of play, if Ingram is able to return to that all-star level of play, and if Zion does take a leap due to his new weight loss, well, this roster has proven to be a one seed in the past. They could be a legitimate title contender. I want to know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. And also, I think you will like this video in the top left corner. It is on why Michael Jordan's sons never played in the NBA or this video in the right, which is YouTube's personal recommendation for you. Thank you for watching. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and peace.